Something about this summer feels like it has potential to be a really great summer. I need him to be so in love with this girl that he can't function. Whenever it's big events, that's when I'm prone to my makeup just not slapping the way that I want it to slap. By the time this comes out, Bridgerton season three would already be out. Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Temi and I do beauty, lifestyle and fashion content on youtube so today we're going to be doing a makeup look i'm going to be recreating a look that i did a couple weeks ago for a dinner that i went to and it was my first time doing this makeup look and it actually looked like it looked different than my everyday makeup look and i've been trying to figure out how to do this for months now so i'm just gonna let you in on some tips that i have found recently or new products or combination of products that i have been using that has helped me take it from like my regular everyday to like oh we going out to eat or we going out to dinner or we have this or we have a wedding to go to like you know just to like make your makeup elevate just a little bit you know what i'm talking about i also just like kind of like yapped a little bit <laughs> as i do um anyway i hope you enjoy the video i hope you take some tips away yeah let's get into this look don't forget to like comment and subscribe and enjoy the video Okay, so recently I haven't been using a primer. Well, hmm, summer is approaching. But I'm gonna continue with no, no primer. I'm gonna use this mist. This is a drugstore pickup. I was in Florida recently and I did use a primer while I was there because that heat, I was like, I'm not gonna make a fool out of myself. Not today, not today. So I'm wearing the same like dress that I wore. I'm not going anywhere right now. I'm just redoing the makeups for you. Yeah, my brushes have legs. They really just been walking everywhere. Okay, so first step is foundation, okay? I am a skin tint girly. I normally use, this is a skin tint I normally use. I've also used the Red Beauty one, which I thought was great. The Yummy Skin Tint, currently my favorite. There was another skin tint I used. I can't remember which one it was, but I'm like everyday makeup. I usually do this to elevate it to the event makeup. I got this foundation. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, foundation. Now I am more of a dewy girl, which is why I love a skin tint. Um, but for those events, you have to, you have to, you have to you gotta do the matte thing. You have to do the matte thing because it just, <laughs> it takes it from here to here. Here's my problem though. I did the whole matte situation and then I didn't like how this was by itself. It was a bit too matte for me. So I combined them. <laughs> that song has been stuck in my head. Where's my brush? Where's my makeup bag? Oh. I think that song is gonna be the song of the summer. It has full potential to be the song of the summer. Are you kidding me? And I've seen, um, I've seen, I don't know if they're selling them. And if they are selling them, I want them so, so badly. Um, these cute little like baby tees that say favorite girl and it has the Nigerian flag on. Are you kidding me? I need it, I need it. <laughs> and then I just put the skin tint on top just to give it a little bit of a glow. Now I have been in the sun a little bit, so hopefully this still matches my <laughs> skin tone. I use a brush to like blend all my stuff out because for like event makeup, or if you, if you want it to look like, not make it look like you're wearing makeup, but there's certain events where it's like, the makeup has to be on, okay? You want that, you need to use a brush. Using a sponge will literally be a waste of your time and all your efforts will be gone to the wind because the sponge is gonna absorb a good percentage of that. I'm loving the way you twirl. <laughs> yeah. Fun fact, Maybelline Fit Me was the first like foundation I bought when I first started getting into makeup in, uh, I think I tried makeup at 2018 when I was in uni, but I kind of failed at it. <laughs> I 
But then when I tried it again in 2020, yeah, it was Maybelline Fit Me again. And she just honestly has never disappointed. I have a lot of their products. I love her. And I have multiple of these. I think I have like three of these in different shades for different purposes. I'm very excited for summer 2024. Something about this summer feels like it has potential to be a really great summer. And I'm praying that that's the case. Last summer was a pretty good summer, I'm not gonna lie. Another thing I've been doing is I usually do my eyebrows first, but for this event makeup, I do foundation first and then I do my eyebrows. I used to think that doing your eyebrows first made the most sense. I've had a change of heart. I've had a change of heart and I'm now on foundation first and then, and then eyebrows. Because I don't have um, lashes on, I'm gonna do some eyeshadow. Nothing too crazy, honestly. I just use my concealer to like prime my lids. Where are you at now, girl? See, that's what I mean. Like my stuff really just grows legs and runs away. I've said this before, but I absolutely love lashes, but I love the freedom that you have when you do not have lashes on. Like washing your face is just so good. You can just splash the water straight there. You can do it with lashes too, to be fair. And then you just have to like wash your lashes, but it's not the same. It's absolutely not the same. And especially if you want to do like an eye look, yeah, babe, just go ahead and take those lashes right off. Make sure it's all blended. I'm loving the way you talk. The song is about to be a problem for me. I need that baby tea. I'm so sorry. Because I was thinking of getting like a baby tea jersey. The one that like says like Brazil on it. I've seen that a lot. Um, but if I could get my hands on those. I ain't gonna need the Brazil one. Come through my brows. I'm gonna leave those alone for now because I'm going to darken them just a tad with this NYX um, eyebrow pencil. I'm gonna do that last because it's gonna get lost in all of the stuff. The next thing I think that's taken my makeup from like everyday to like event makeup is this. This concealer right here is so good. It's the Sephora Best Skin Ever. It's a full coverage concealer. Absolutely love it. I think it's a dupe. Oh, maybe not a dupe. Maybe it's just a concealer that does the exact same thing as another concealer because they're both concealers. Anyway, it's a full coverage concealer. I think it's very similar to the Too Faced concealer. Um, and I did quite like it when I had that one. So I just wanted to try this one out. I don't know what to tell you. Um, it has like a thick applicator, which I don't know, but I just love that so so, so much. I'm not gonna be brightening my under eye. I actually don't do that very often, so, or ever. <laughs> I feel like I am yet to find the shade that really brightens my under eye in a complimentary way. So there's just no need for me to be doing it at the moment. Concealer is probably my favorite step of the makeup routine. I love applying it. I love this stage and I love when you start blending it out. And it's a bit scary because it's like, oh my God, oh my God, it looks really, really bad. But then you just gotta be patient. You blend it out. You can like chef's kiss. Okay, so make sure you have a full coverage concealer for your event makeup so that it can really give you that, uh, that punch. And we're gonna let it sit for a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Mm. I'm in the mood to dance. I'm really in the mood to, to get jiggy with it. Get jiggy. Okay, I'm using the bronzer that I always use. It is the NARS Creamy Bronzer in Laguna 05. I started putting it on the like palm of my hand kind of warming up the product <laughs> i say that in quotations because it sounds very like makeup artisty and i'm not a makeup artist it makes a big difference it's very subtle but you can still tell like it it's is cute i just love it it blends out so nicely um and then the overall look of it too like it still shows the dimension without being too like harsh you know like whenever you have a big event i feel like your makeup just it <sighs> 
it just doesn't do what you want it to do sometimes like maybe it's the the nerves of it all or something i don't know but um i feel like whenever it's big events that's when i'm prone to like my makeup just not slapping the way that i want it to slap and then everything just looks a lot harsher than it needs to it's not as soft and subtle but you know if i just randomly do my makeup to go get bubble tea one day that's when my makeup will look flawless how's that fair i think this is a good way to like kind of combat that i'm loving the winter my favorite thing about the summer is pretending like i'm in an afrobeats music video the whole summer nothing is real <laughs> and i'm in a music video by the time this comes out bridgerton season three would already be out i probably would have watched it by now oh <sighs> i'm not gonna lie i am quite nervous i don't know i'm just scared like after season two and canthony that gave me everything i've ever wanted genuinely i watched that season twice and i actually should be watching it a third time I have two days, two days to watch it before season three drops, part one. God, there's just nothing beats watching that for the first time. I love a slow burn and Miss Shonda Rhimes or Mrs. Is she a Mrs.? Anyway, respectfully, Shonda Rhimes. She gave me, oh Lord. Anyway, as I was saying, um, because I love season two so much, I am naturally a little nervous about season three, not because I don't think they're gonna deliver, but um, I don't know if that boy has it in him. I don't know, like to give me what it is that I really want. Pen Penelope looks great. They gave her a new wig. They give her a whole new budget for those bundles because she's looking absolutely spectacular. I mean, she always has looked spectacular, but I just love how they do this glow up for the main characters. Absolutely love it. Um, Colin, Colin's glow up too. I'm like, boy, I saw him on a red carpet a couple months ago and I was like, what do you think? What kind of, you know the, you know how Esther had like her year of like beautification before she like went to the king? They do that for every single Bridgerton member. I pro like, not every single one, but you know, the, the, the lead actors and actresses of the season. They must go and do like an Esther, an Esther process because what kind of craziness is going on right now? Da, 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 da. Okay, um, I like to reverse contour where I have bronzed. Again, in order to make the makeup look like event makeup or just, you know what I'm saying? Like full coverage makeup. Let's say that from now on, we're gonna say full coverage makeup. To make it look like full coverage makeup, Brushes are gonna be your best friend. So I'm using a brush to blend out my concealer as well. I'm gonna do everything outside of, I'm gonna keep my like under eye area last um, so that it gets even tackier. Let it sit. The longer you let it sit, the longer the makeup is like sitting on your skin, you know? Mm, I might've put a bit too much here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous about Colin. I, I, God, I don't know if he's gonna do what I need him to do. Like, I need him to yearn for this girl, bro. Like, <sighs> my friends have been saying that, like, you can kind of, like, he's going to, like, she's about to, Penelope's gonna put him through the ringer, you know, like, really show him that, like, yeah, yeah, see me as more than a friend, you know? And then he's really gonna, like, he's probably gonna have a moment of, like, realization that, like, oh, like, damn, you know? when the like things click for him and things change but like i don't know like i'm not getting that from the clips from the short clips and things i just i'm not getting it i'm not and it's making me very nervous i need him to be so in love with this girl that he can't function i need to see that on the screen i need to be, i will be very happy if i'm proven wrong which i'm sure they will be because the writers and everything is just always so amazing <laughs> I'm gonna just mist my face with the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray before I start going in. I used to mist between every single step. That gives you a very dewy look and it looks pretty good. I quite like it. I've kind of reduced that to just after a few steps or whenever it's necessary, just to keep everything hydrated. It also helps when you're like blending everything out, you know? I like to do my eyeshadow before I blend out the concealer because sometimes Sometimes like little pieces of the 
eyeshadow like fall on this area and i feel like once you've blended it out it's really annoying to clean up so i'm gonna do this first i'm using this random let's show you it's a random nyx eyeshadow palette because i wear lashes so often i don't want to do eyeshadow i used to go crazy on the eyeshadow looks whoa this is a lot redder than i thought i'm loving the way you girl please yeah i used to go in with my eyeshadow looks i used to love doing like um colorful looks with like glitter always like on the inner part this is like pastel-y like yellow down which is what kind of made it look like sunset-y again it's very simple it's interesting that i did this kind of um eyeshadow look with the for the dinner because my outfit was this black dress um it has like a little slit on this like not a slit but like there's a little portion of it that's gone <laughs> um and i had like these fabric like gothic tights um so it's very interesting that i went with like a sunset eye look for a very grunge but feminine outfit okay and now that i've left this on for a good amount of time let's spray it and then blend it out oh i love the consistency of this concealer every time i use her she just shows me why i should love her even more blend it out seamlessly absolutely love i stopped using blush for a hot minute i want to say i literally stopped using blush for i don't know like maybe like eight months it was a long time but i'm back to her now i put her on like the high points of my cheekbones i think it like lifts your face a bit and it looks very natural because it's like hitting where like light normally hits so it really makes you look all nice and rosy i think orange blush orange lip glosses or like lip oils on black girls look so good it looks very natural um and just very complimentary you cannot go wrong okay to blend all of this out a bit i'm just gonna take my bronzer again I do this pretty quickly because like i need to set my concealer in a second sometimes i do like a very like i'll actually like use a smaller brush to like do my nose contour other times i just do it like this this is why i don't put um the eyebrow pencil on at the beginning because doing this it would have like kind of taken it off by now <laughs> now i use a sponge to like diffuse everything so it does take a little bit of product off but to help like blur like really bad like harsh lines i think like the third like necessary part of like full coverage makeup or event makeup would be your powders 110 percent i'm using my baby girl my maybelline fit me in coconut i try not to wait too long between when i actually do my concealer to when i put the press powder on i'm going to set my face first i put it everywhere that i put my concealer another way to elevate your makeup especially like for events is with press powder i use not press powder, this is loose powder i use press powder first and then i put a little bit of loose powder afterwards um i just find that when i do loose powder first i feel like it gets in my like the little crinkles in my eyes and then it it, it creases really easily for me so i personally don't but if doing loose powder alone or first works best for you then go ahead and do that I just put a little bit in my ting. I get some of my powder puff, but then I like take off all the excess on my hand, the inner corner, and then the edge right there. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. That kind of acts as like my brightening because this powder is lighter than my pressed powder. I just did that. You already know I love the NARS, um, the NARS bronzers period. I love the cream. I love the powder bronzer. I love everything. I think right now my favorite makeup 
brands, like complexion wise and stuff, is Danessa Myricks, NARS, and the Maybelline Fit Me line. I also have the Maybelline Fit Me um, blush. I didn't even know they had blushes. I just picked this up randomly, um, but she is hecka cute. I really like her. This is a pink blush. I did use a, I used an orange blush for like the cream step, um, but I think the orange and the pink combo also is very cute. Okay, we might be getting a little carried away at the moment. It doesn't matter what time of year it is, I will always go back to Gilmore Girls. I don't think I've successfully watched it from season one to the end, ever. Actually, I don't think I've finished Gilmore Girls. I had a moment where I binged it in like 2019 or like 2020. Then I think I finished it, but then I started all over again. No, I must have finished it. Anyway, you don't care about that. These are the lashes so far. What are your comfort shows that you watch? Like, mine is Gilmore Girls, but Gilmore Girls, she stresses, Rory stresses me out. Um, Lorelai, does she stress me out? I don't think, she doesn't stress me out as much as Rory does. And then Luke, sometimes I'm just like, oh, brother, like, please. Yeah, but I do end up going back to them a lot. Um, I love Modern Family. Right now, I'm actively not watching it because I need to give myself I finished watching it like fully, like from season one till the end. I finished that in 2020. And I think that's when they ended. I was so distraught. Anyway, I told myself that I was gonna give myself a couple years to rewatch. Wait, it's 2024. There's no way it's been four years. That doesn't sound right. Oh my God, wait, can I start watching Modern Family again? Ah! Yeah, my binge show for this season, the summer season is Bridgerton. I don't know when they released the new season of Abba Elementary on Disney Plus. As soon as they put season three, I'm there. I'll be the first one there actually, because the way I ate up season one and two on Disney Plus, Rory literally had men like always at her feet and either she purposely didn't realize that they liked her or she genuinely was like <laughs> everything I said about lashes being uncomfortable I take it back I take it back I love them where's my mirror I just go over my eyebrows a little bit just to bring the color back to them I do like hair like movements I like to put moles on my face because I don't have them naturally and I think they're really cute. Oh, that was big. That's a big mole. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> so that your makeup actually stays throughout the night, throughout the dinner, throughout the date, throughout the wedding, whatever it is that you're going to. You have to double up with these two. Yeah, you're gonna wet your face, like wet it. <laughs> and then go in with the one size. <coughs> She's a lot. Woo! Woo! For my lip, I do. It's like the brown lip liner. Look with a pink inside. I use this old Smashbox lipstick for my lip liner because it's brown. This lipstick is quite literally holding on for dear life. My gosh. Thank you for your service. I'm using my NYX Butter Gloss. This is tiramisu. She is a nice pink. I love this pink. It's very baby girl. Very baby girl. Love her. This elf uh, lip oil, which honestly, it's just for the shimmer. I, it's not very good for hydration or anything. Mm, the Fenty formula is thicker, so if you really, really want it to be like glossy, go with her. Beautiful. Okay, so this is the final look. Um, I recreated a look that I wore to a dinner a couple weeks ago that I absolutely loved. Um, it was my first time really doing this like event makeup look. Um, it looks a little dewier than I did it the last time, but that's probably because 
I sprayed in between steps. But I love the look regardless. It is different from my everyday makeup look, which I'm very happy about because sometimes you just wanna like do a different makeup look. Do you know what I mean? Like you want it to look like something is different here. You know what I mean? Beautiful for a dinner out with the girls. I think it's a great look for a date night. It's giving sultry. Maybe do like a smoky eye instead of like a sunset eye. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next week.